and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. In this tip, we're going to be talking about overlapping transparencies when using PhotoView 360. Now this can come up in several scenarios. Sometimes you have overlapping panels, maybe glass panels. In this case, I've simply got a glass with some fluid in it. Now if you've used PhotoView 360 with transparent materials, this may have happened to you before. Let's take a look at what materials I have applied. Here we can see I have a black satin finish. That's actually this table, which is overwritten with a decal on the top. I have a clear glass, which is of course the glass itself, and a white wine material, which is the fluid. Now this all looks fine when I'm viewing it in the SOLIDWORKS graphics pane, but when I go to do a preview render, maybe to check my material specifications, we see a different behavior. Now I handle this a few different ways. If you've seen my tip from the 2016 rollout event, you've seen that I like to work with a couple panes at once. Now I typically do this if I have a lot of things that I would like to adjust. Again, you can go up into window, into viewport, and add a couple of panes. And that's a great way to work, again, if you have a lot of things that you want to tweak and watch the rendering at once. Now if there's just a couple things that I need to check, then oftentimes I'll use either the render region with the integrated preview and only render a small region of it, or I'll just use the preview window. Now when I use the preview window, I get a preview of the render, but it looks completely different from what we see in the graphics area. Again, if we move this over, we can see here the fluid is clear, here it shows up black. Now this can be a common occurrence when working with, again, overlapping transparent materials. The reason for this is that I have set my preview window to actually render at a lower quality. This helps me render things more quickly and in most cases works out very well. However, transparencies are very difficult to render and require refraction rays going through the materials. Now it just so happens that I have my render quality set all the way down to good for my preview window. This reduces the number of refraction rays that PhotoView 360 uses when rendering this image. If we go into the render options, we can see this. Under the render options, I have my preview render quality set to good, my final render quality set to maximum. Now again, in most cases, uh, simple reflections, this is uh, just fine. And we'll see in this case, this actually works out as well. If we say okay, and we go to a final render, we see the preview will pop up, we'll get the same result that we just saw. However, when the final render runs, we'll see a different result. I've sped up this section just for the sake of time. You'll notice the rendering slowing down when it moves over the transparent regions. Now here we can see the fluid seems to have rendered all the way through. We don't see that black anymore. Now again, the reason for this is maximum quality actually uses more refraction rays than good. And we can see that difference in the settings as well. So let's move back. Back to the options. Again, our final render quality is set to maximum over good. Now what's going on here is that every time a ray passes through a transparent face, it will soak up that ray, if you want to think of it that way. So you'll need the number of rays to match the number of transparent faces you have overlapping. Now this does apply to every single face, not necessarily every thickness of the model. So front face, back face, that would be two rays. Now in this case, I have a very thin flute of my glass, so I've got two on each side. So I've got two in the back, I've got two going through the fluid, and two in the front. So the settings for good just aren't good enough to get rays all the way through my fluid. Now if you're curious, you can actually see what settings are used in each one of these presets. For example, if I switch over to good, we have an option for custom render settings. If we check this on, we will see that it will start off with the number of reflections and refractions that that setting uses. So good uses one reflection, four refractions. Again, if we go back better, we'll see this turn up. 
And if we move all the way up to maximum, we'll see we've got 10 and 10. So 10 refraction rays was enough to get through my two, two, and two. So that's why when I rendered this as the final render, my rendering came out correct. Now had I set my preview render quality back down to maximum, we would also see the same rendering show up in my preview. Now if we have special requirements for our rendering, we know we have a specific number of faces to get through, we can now set this number manually. And the number of refractions we can now set up to 32, so you can have a maximum of 16 overlapping face pairs. Of course, this will add time to the render, so just set it to the number that you need. Well, I hope this clears up some cloudy renderings. And from all of us at CAD Dimensions, we wish you a happy new year. We'll see you next year. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below.